Hey, welcome back. My uh, my Netsies won today. That's good. They beat the Timberwolves. Um, I was thinking about this today. Maybe I'm just an idiot, but I I don't feel like they don't make like a big deal about this on like ESPN or whatever. Um, but. What happened in the past five years? Why, for basketball, why, why is everybody scoring so much? <laughs> I felt like, f I was looking at this at work. There's like a tipping point about five years ago in the NBA where most of the teams were averaging about 100 points per game, 99 points, 102 points. Then like in 2016, everybody started scoring 110 points per game. I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like what happened. Like, every, and I've been noticing like when I watch the games, like everybody's just hitting shots. I know the Nets are really good right now, but like everybody's doing it too. Even the teams they play, like the Timberwolves, are terrible and they they hitting shots. I don't understand. I'm doing that thing where I'm like, oh, when I was a kid, the game was so much different, man. I did feel like that though when I was a kid. I remember if the Nets scored 100 points, it was like a big deal. Like, whoa, they scored 100 points, they must be really good. But now if you score 100 points, the worst team in the league averages 100 points, pretty much. I just remember, I remember the game being a lot slower and a lot of dribbling and passing and then oh we missed a shot and oh we get the rebound and then we dribble up slow but now it's just like bang 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 keep shooting keep shooting I don't know <laughs> what's this <clears throat> I, I don't know how long this dungeon is but I don't think it's really that long um, I was gonna try to talk about I need to get into my topics quicker uh, God is great and don't look at this pit bull, it's bad. <laughs> um, I feel like I did a good job yesterday of talking about my topic, but I was thinking about this before when I was talking about Goddess Grey. Her, I, ta I did a video where I was talking about her channel and I thought about like three or four different things I could talk about and I was getting like sidetracked and all. I just need to focus on like one thing about a st about a note that I write. Um, so I wanted to talk about... And I did listen to a podcast about this, like this YouTube rabbit hole thing. It's, 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 it doesn't really affect me because I'm older now. I'm 28. They're not going to get me. But a lot of the time, I'm, I'm noticing this YouTube rabbit hole thing where they they show you one video and you watch it and then it's scary like all of a sudden you're getting all these recommended videos and you're like oh I might as well watch them the recommended um, oh I want that I want that I want that so that's how I got into the God is a great person and I watched one of her videos and she was saying like a lot of the things like that I agree with the first thing I saw I think that I agreed with a lot was like she articulated this idea that I've never really maybe other people have said it but it, I never really heard other people say and it's something I remember saying a lot which is um, I remember being in high school, I have a memory, and being in church, and the pastor saying something like, he, he would say this like almost every week, he'd be like, the culture wants to tell you that God can be whatever you want it to be, and God is changing with the culture, but, the, but you need to remember that God is the ultimate truth, and he never changes, and I would have this thought like, that might be true, but how are we supposed to know what the ultimate truth is? Like, the Bible is super vague a lot of the time. Our, most of it is just up for our oops, interpretations of certain things. So, if, 
you want to, I don't know. Well, she talks a lot about like birth control and stuff like that. <laughs> if you want to know what to do about birth control, you can't find it in the Bible, right? Because they didn't have it back then. So, I mean, you can, anything you learn is going to be like interpreting old verses and being like, oh, this applies to us. But like, does it though? It's an interpretation. It has to be. It's not saying directly what you should do. It can't. <laughs> That's why it's always, that's why I've always been, like every pastor I've ever had has always had that kind of idea of like, the cultures wants you to change and they want you to act a certain way, but you need to act the way God wants you to act. And I'm like, I, I agree with that, but you're not God. So am I supposed to just believe whatever you tell me? <laughs> it always is framed like that, like, you need to do exactly what God wants you to do. And I'm going to tell you what God wants you to do. Wait, you took an extra leap there. <laughs> and, and, okay, uh, I need to do, I think you, that's all you need, right? Or maybe this, I don't know. Or maybe this. Um. Get it, get it, get it. So God is gray. That's what, that's the video that I saw that I liked. Where it was like, God isn't black and white, it's gray. Um, God is black and white, but we're gray. Or maybe God is Greg. <laughs> Is it possible God could be Greg? Oh, okay. So I want to talk about the rabbit hole thing. See, I got sidetracked, but I got sidetracked. That was in a, that was like a good sidetrack. I like that sidetrack. Sometimes I get sidetracked and it's not good. But uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Go, 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 go. Um, but it's it's dangerous to like agree this much with like a person because then you get into this weird cult of personality thing and then you start maybe going down a road like you don't want to go down. Um, that's what happens to a lot of these internet like far right people. I don't know. They watch YouTube videos and they're like, maybe I should hate Jewish people. I don't know. This guy, I like this guy and I'm watching all these videos that like saying there's racism against white people and and I don't have a job and I'm kind of like a loser or whatever like I feel that way so maybe this guy's right so you have to be but I could even be led that way by watching this God is great person even though like she's not like that but you get led there because then I got I got suggested this other person. Am I done for the day? No, I got to do this boss. Um, Jacqueline Glenn. Because it's like, oh, they do these collaboration videos. And then you get suggested for their videos. And, and then now now I'm listening to this person. And I'm like, well, I kind of I kind of like her videos. Because she kind of was talking with this guy. a great person. And I like her. And then you keep going deeper into YouTube. And then eventually, at the end of it, you hate Jews somehow. <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> I listened to this podcast. I think it was a New York Times podcast called, like, YouTube Rabbit Hole, where this guy, I think he started, like, watching PewDiePie videos, and then all, uh, and then he became, like, an alt-right person <laughs> somehow. And I just went through his search history, and, and, and they were like, <clears throat> okay, started with these videos, and then, oh, you could see at this point, you started watching these videos and that's when it really you really started to be into the far righty thing i like how you can see their health that's nice i wonder if you can see ganon's health oh, 
I was pretty, I wrote down a couple critical notes of this Jacqueline Glenn person, because I don't really like her. <laughs> but I've been watching her videos so much, because I'm like, I don't know, just like doing dishes, and I'm like, I gotta, I can't just do the dishes and not be listening to anything, so I just put, her videos are recommended, because I watched God is Grey, and then now I'm watching this atheist talk about, uh, stuff. Should I talk about that tomorrow, I guess? I'm almost done. This boss is easy. Too easy. Give me that. <clears throat> the thing they always say, all the YouTubers, they always say this. Have I ever said this? I don't know. They want to build a community. Ooh, let's build a community of people. Yeah, I know what that means. You want viewers. <laughs> But it's kind of, you want people to like you and agree with you. I know that's not, I know I'm being like cynical, but I want to build a community of like people who love each other. <laughs> like, yes, it's a good thing, but it, it, you want to build a community with you at the top of it. Right, where you're kind of making the videos and everybody else is kind of below you talking about the videos. So that's like a cult of personality type of thing, right? Where everybody's listening to you and there are the people who like are dissidents, but then the other people who like you are like arguing with those people like, no, she's a good person and you're wrong. I don't know what I'm saying. Well, should I just make a run for it? Run for it? Ow. <laughs> Don't grab me. <sighs> These re re-deads aren't that scary. The ocarina ones are worse. Okay, I'm just going to make a run for it. Uh, next time. So, see you tomorrow.